on, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. God bless you. So glad that you made it here this morning. In Jesus' name, bless you. Now we heard the discourse uh, this morning of uh, uh, of, a, of, a, of a discourse that is uh, uh, that is common uh, to all peoples everywhere. And I don't know that anybody that I have not heard of Amazing Grace. Uh, you you know the verse. I was blind, but now I see. Right? Yeah. Bless you. Now these are catchy words. Uh, praise God that we remembered. Uh, even when we were uh, uh, very young, uh, it kind of stayed with you. Don't y'all feel that way? I was yeah. blind, but now I see. Maybe you didn't really understand what you, what was going on there. But it has something, uh, some spiritual implications to it. And thank God that we live in a spiritual nation uh, that uh, recognizes uh, when God speaks, uh, amen, has a, a ring to it, <laughs> and the thing stays with you. Uh, bless the name of our God. All right, first giving honor. To the Spirit of Christ, uh, to uh, this great church, the Covenant Church, uh, to Pastor Josh, uh, to his father, senior was well, senior pastor, uh, to uh, Ella Perry, uh, young lady. Thank you so much. Praise God! I think you broke eyes here this morning. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. I felt the Spirit of God in you. Amen. <laughs> Praise God in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Sister Kathy, and uh, she is uh, a uh, aspiring artist. And uh, I'm one who have uh, bought into her career as much as I can, in Jesus' name. Uh, bless you now. And to uh, Pastor Billy, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I think I just met him in the name of God. Uh, bless you now. Uh, so we thank God for standing here before you this morning. I'm part of what is called the Salt and Pepper Team. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise me by God. Amen. When I heard that young man say that uh, he believed in the baptism of Jesus' name, that's all I wanted to hear. That's right. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. And so it was uh, such a thing like we were like drawn together in Jesus' name. This is central uh, to all Pentecostal people. That's right. Uh, bless the name of our God. Amen. Amen. We know him. Amen. By uh, the water baptism. Repentance identifies us with his death and burial uh, uh, with his uh, uh, baptism with his burial and new life, of course. Amen. Identifies us with his resurrection. Bless the name of our God. Oh, Amen. Yeah. For Jesus is our God. Amen. Bless you now. And so when we read uh, these uh, discourses, uh, it is uh, so uh, enlightening to us. Amen. Because we are often wondering how cl much closer can we get to Jesus Christ? And what else can we find about him? Bless the name of our God. Amen. And so uh, before I uh, uh, come with the preach message this morning and the title, uh, thank God it was awfully done uh, that uh, everybody uh, heard the discourse. And uh, and so uh, you have uh, the stage has been set here uh, about uh, being blind but not seeing and this kind of thing uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, the Gospel of John, praise God, was written to a wide audience, not just to the Jewish nation, but it was written to a wide audience. And it was written some uh, 20 to 25 years after uh, the uh, Synoptic Gospels was written, and that's Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Praise God, amen. But uh, uh, you'll find here in the Synoptic Gospels, uh, in the uh, Gospel of John, praise God, you'll find, amen, that it is the most spiritual book in the Bible. Uh, now, when Jesus spake, praise God, he spake in parables, and you'll find that in uh, Matthew chapter number 13, uh, praise God, amen, that uh, those that hear, amen, that they could did not hear him, and those that hear, praise God, perhaps they can hear. So God knows, praise God, his number. And he understands those that love to come out, amen, and go to church on Sunday. Now you can clap your hands and give God a praise right there. <laughs> amen. I'm clap my hands because, you know, how many people do you know, praise God, is somewhere sitting down in the TV watching, right. watching somebody, praise God. Amen. Too lazy, amen, to get up, amen, and go and serve God. Amen. But after you have left here, praise God, we hope, sincerely hope, praise God, that you have heard something, praise God, that will help you out on this week, praise God, that should make you inspired about finding out, praise God, who Jesus really was. Amen. That's the thing about God. Amen. And uh, I thought about singing a song here, Amazing Grace, the way my, way my godmother and the rest of the senior choir sang it in Jesus' name. But I think I'm going to don't do that this morning. Amen. Uh, 
Uh, Bishop Taylor told me one time, said, son, sing for, for somebody to know. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Bless the name of our God in Jesus' name. So we're in the congregation here. Bless God. And uh, we, are, uh, we all have uh, something in common. Amen. We live in this country, this great country of ours in Jesus' name. And there's some songs, amen, I know that you know. Praise God. You know, I was sitting here, uh, you know, listening to uh, these songs and that kind of thing. And all of a sudden, praise God, I was taken back. Amen. To my childhood days, I couldn't help but stomp my feet. Amen. You see, they didn't have the organ and all this thing going on. Praise. I couldn't help but pat my feet. Praise God. You can hear. Amen. Those that love God. Praise God. You can Hallelujah. hear them. Hallelujah. Praise God. You can hear them down the road. Praise God. Because they wanted to get to know Jesus a little bit better. Praise God. Perhaps maybe. You know, after this all over which, amen, somehow, praise God, God will drive, drive people back to the household of God. Amen. And whether they're black, white, whatever you are, praise God, you will have to get a burning desire to find out, praise God, amen, what this man Jesus was all about. Amen. He's nothing but kindness, love, and compassion. Hallelujah. He just wants people to find out who he is. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. You can join me. In grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I found was blind. But now I see twas grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relief how precious is that grace appeared the hour I first believe I like this verse through many days, just toss and stand. I have already become. Tis grace has brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me on. And when this flesh and heart shall feel, and mortal life shall cease. I shall possess within the veil a life of joy and peace. I know you like this last one. When we've been there ten thousand years, Bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Praise the name of our God. You can be seen it. Praise the name of our God. Now, this is central. Praise God to every believer everywhere. In this great land that we have, praise God. I can imagine if you was to go over to uh, Miss Logan Turnpike, praise God, where you will find some of the great pastors over there. Or maybe you can go over to 110 North Dunlap Street, praise God. Or maybe you can go to Richmond on 32nd and all streets. It don't matter what street you're on, praise God. Amen. This particular discourse here is common, praise God, to every man living. Hallelujah. I can imagine, praise God, if you would talk to an air person this morning. We don't have any air in here today. But if you were to talk to an air person, praise God, he'll identify, praise God, with the man Jesus Christ. He may not believe that he, he God, praise God, but he knows that he was some type of prophet or something. Praise God, that lived, praise God, more than 2,000 years ago. That's right. yep. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All right, praise God. We want to get into the discourse. And if I can dry my eyes here, y'all... Go along with me for a minute, praise God. I have a, something here. I can wipe my eyes. Yeah, I had something here in a minute. Every time I get up behind this pulpit, I get to cry, but I can't help myself. That's all right. Praise, praise God. <laughs> Y'all, bear with me for a minute. That's all right. That's all right. Praise God. That's all right. For the preaching of the gospel. Praise God. Amen. 
saved. That don't mean the foolishness of it. They praise God. That means over and over and over again. And I don't have bad praise God hearing it. Seven days a week if I can get it. Hallelujah. Because it is the power of God unto salvation. To everyone that believe. To the Jew first. Then to the Gentile. Amen. Praise God. I thank God for being born on that little farm down there somewhere. Mm-hmm. And I know you glad. Praise God. Where you come from? Amen. There's so many today, amen, whose heart is so far away from God. But perhaps maybe, praise God, we can put this thing on uh, Facebook or somewhere and get out on the corners. Praise the name of our God, amen, and tell people who God is. Just tell it what's in your heart. Yes. Amen. And that will grab somebody by the throat, praise God, and lead them to God. Praise God. We want to draw your attention. Praise God to this discourse, chapter 9. Bless the name of our God. And to uh, the very 39th verse. Uh, Praise God. Amen. And uh, which takes the text of our preach word here. And Jesus said, for judgment, I am come into this world that they would See not, might see, and they which see might be blind. Praise God. If I can use a subject uh, this morning, praise God, amen, that you were born blind. You were born blind. That may seem strange to you this morning, praise God. Amen. You know that God gives you sight. Praise God. But yet, praise God, you're blind. Amen. It takes the preaching of the gospel, praise God, amen, for men, amen. eyes to come open. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Can I give you a short testimony? Yeah. Didn't know anything, praise God, about the saving grace, really. Praise God, until I run into somebody, praise God, preaching the everlasting gospel of Jesus Christ, praise God, preaching the truth of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And for judgment, praise God, he said. Ah, uh, if you were to Pay attention to the text. You can see here that there is a distinction drawn between a metaphorical seeing, praise God, and the eyes of your understanding coming open. Praise God. See, before you can be right, you first wrong. (laughs) And here Jesus, praise God. Amen. He was pointing out something here to these Pharisees. And, you know, the Pharisees are like a lot of people that we know today. They're very potentious. Praise God, very potential bunch. They felt like they knew everything about salvation. Praise God, they felt like, praise God, amen, that they're still waiting on the Messiah. Hallelujah, praise God, amen, some are still waiting on him. But I don't know much about you, praise God, but I met him, praise God, some 31 years ago. Hallelujah. Praise God, now I know, praise God, the man Jesus Christ. Praise God, thank God, amen, for knowing him. I'm like, did it like the disciples now. Praise God. They knew him in the flesh. They say, yet no more we know him in the flesh, but yet, but now we know him through the Spirit. Praise God. You have a fellowship with him. Praise God. The metaphorical statement here. Praise God that they were blind men. Praise God. And Jesus, praise God. Amen. Let them know, praise God. If you were, look down at the end of the verse. He said, if you were blind, praise God. Amen. You should have no sin, praise God. But now you say, we see, you see how pretentious they are. I want to let you know, praise God, that you, when you born into the world, praise God, amen, you don't know nothing about Jesus Christ and his saving grace except what somebody told you about him. Praise the name of our God. Thank God, amen, for a spiritual intent in this nation. Praise God, not afraid to say, praise God, that we this foundation of the nation was built. Upon the principles, praise God, of Jesus Christ. That's right. Thank God, praise God, for being in a nation, praise God, where you are able to come out, praise God, and serve God, amen, the way that you choose. Thank God, praise God, that you're not in an oppressive type of situation, praise God, where, amen, you're not afraid, praise God, to tell God, amen, what you feel about him. Hallelujah, praise God. But my God this morning is to show you, praise God, that without a doubt, Jesus Christ, praise God, is the immaculate Son of God. Amen. He is the one, praise God, praise God, that has, amen, the, uh, the authority, praise God, in his words, hallelujah, amen, in his words, praise God, amen, in his burning desire, praise God, for a man, praise God, to hear 
the words of God. Praise God, like I first stated before. Praise God, you heard the words I was blind, but now I see. Praise God. Perhaps, hallelujah, praise God, you really want to see. But there's something down in your heart that makes you want to know God just a little bit better. Amen. To know, praise God, him in the pardon of your sins. Praise God. God, amen, was killed, praise God, for our transgression. Praise God. He was wounded, amen, for our, he, he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. And by his strength, praise God, amen, you are healed. Hallelujah. Ha, that's the only way, praise God. You see the distinction here. That God is showing, praise God, how he got a hold of this young man. Praise God. He couldn't see a lick. He was born blind, praise God. The people of that nation said, praise God, maybe somebody sinned, and maybe that is the problem. But let me let you know, praise God, there's things that come up in your life, praise God. Amen. will point you to way to God, praise God. Can I say it again? Many find God, praise God, when they fall into devil's trouble. But you know, that's a good time, praise God. Amen. To get a hold, praise God, of faith. And seek God for yourself. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. To find out who God is. Hallelujah. Can you clap your hands and give God a praise? <laughs> Some of the Pharisees which were with him heard him heard these words and said unto him, Are we born blind? Also, look at that. Praise God. See, Jesus is the light of the world. Amen. There's a no way can a man's life be illuminated. Praise God. Until he get in the presence of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Praise God. Amen. And if you walk in lights, praise God. Amen. That you won't walk in darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. Men love darkness. That's how I come. Praise God. They don't want to come to the light. Praise God. Because their deeds, amen, should be reproved. But you know, when you get into the light of God, there's something in your heart that makes you want to walk closer. Amen. To Jesus Christ. Follow him, praise God, amen, every which way he go, in Jesus' name. You notice this, Jesus said unto them, amen, you were blind, you were, if you were blind, praise God, amen, you should have no sight, praise God, amen. They had a cloak for their sin, amen, during the early time in Israel, praise God, they were, they were what is called, praise God, hypocrites, amen, they would live one way, but they didn't have power enough, praise God, to live, amen, according to the dictates of God. Praise God. That's felt. Therefore, God decided, amen, to change the covenant up, amen, and make it a blood covenant so you can get away, praise God, in Jesus' name. And he died, amen, so you can have life eternal. Amen. Not only that, praise God, but you can have the joy of the Lord in your heart. Wherever you go, praise the name of our God. The church will be the central focus of your life, the body of Christ. Aren't you glad? Amen. Aren't you glad that we live in a nation? Amen. Praise God. They can still look out and say, where is the church? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Whether it's black, white, whatever it is. Aren't you glad, praise God, there was an altar somewhere? Hallelujah. And men's yeah. problem, praise God, is they don't want to come to the altar to pour out their heart before God. To tell them what's wrong, praise God. Let me tell you, to every man and woman that's given a portion of faith, Amen. You may not understand what it, what this man talking about, but there's something in your heart, praise God, that lets you know, praise God, amen, that sin, praise God, has an effect on you. Right. Just like these Jews, praise God. They know, they didn't know that they needed a Savior. But Jesus said, praise God, amen, because you sin, hallelujah to God, therefore you don't have no uh, expectation of, you don't have no uh, sin in your life. But praise God, amen, before Jesus came, the whole world lies in the darkness and degradation until Jesus came, praise God, to set man free from his sin. I'm so glad, hallelujah, praise God, for what God has done, praise God, for those uh, that I have met and for you, praise God. Amen. To hear the word of God, hallelujah. Amen. To come out on Sunday, praise God, and say, you now heard the word of God. I feel much better, praise God. My week, praise God, will be a lot clearer now. Praise God, I can see a little better, praise God, in the name of Jesus. Praise God, I thank God. Amen. For a church like this, I thank God, hallelujah, for running into somebody else that know what the name of Jesus 
Amen. Vent to him. Hallelujah. I'm glad to run into your presence this morning. And thank God for you, praise God, to know what the name of Jesus means in your life. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Because you went down in that name, Jesus Christ. Praise God. Now you can be identified with him. Yes. Praise God. He said, I think it was Peter 3 and 21. He said, baptism do it now save us. It is not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but it is a good conscience for Jesus Christ and the resurrection. Can you clap your hands and give God a praise? Yes. Hallelujah. You know, there's nothing like having a good conscience. Uh, praise God. Amen. You are. Uh, somebody said, praise God, that uh, amen, that you were born in sin. And you ask yourself a question, praise God, how in the world can a baby be born in uh, in sin, praise God, amen. But let me explain it to you, praise God. When a child come here in Jesus' name between ages one and five, I think, having her said, praise God, he learned how to talk, he learned how to walk, and he learns how to eat solid food, and he learns right from wrong. There's so much, praise God, in this a society that we live in. God knew, praise God, that we needed a Savior. He knew, praise God, that, this, that the ravages of sin is somehow, praise God, is going to infect everybody living. So God decided, praise God, that I'm going to die for you in Jesus' name. And if you do that, praise God, and give me your I will be your life. I will be your Savior. I will deliver you from everything that's bothering you. If you got faith to believe, hallelujah, you can receive it in Jesus' name. Thank God for the covenant church. Thank God for those that I know baptizing in Jesus' name. I'm going to shake some of y'all hands. Baptizing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Baptizing in Jesus' name. You baptizing in Jesus' name, brother? Thank that you, name, but thank God for you, thank you, Jesus. You keep singing about hallelujah. In the name hallelujah. of Jesus. That's yeah. in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's the only way you're going to get a good conscience. Yeah. So many things come in this life. Praise God. That will sidetrack you. Praise Jesus. I heard a sermon, praise God, last uh, uh, Sunday in the name of the Lord. Uh, Bishop Ronnie Parsons, I've heard that man preach. Praise God, and it was so clear to me, praise God, in Jesus' name. Praise God, you need somebody that you can call on. You're not going to be able to make it in this life by yourself. Right. You may have a good friend that you call on, but at some point, praise God, you are going to have to find God for yourself. Yes. Hallelujah, I believe the scripture said, praise God, save yourself from this adored generation. That means that they're stubborn. They don't want to turn to God, praise God. They don't want to hear nothing about that name in Jesus' name. Uh, uh, Hallelujah to God. You know, men, praise God, are fickle, and they get things wrong down through the centuries. Praise God. Amen. They change it. Praise God. Amen. From the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But I thank, I thank God for the Pentecostal organization. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. They don't matter. Praise God. Me and you can the word of God. Send the thing out. Praise God. Worried about, praise God, this generation. Thank God for you. Jesus, praise God. I received that young man sitting in the back. Praise God. In Jesus' name, you have found us here in this city. Praise the name of our God. Amen. And we venerate them, praise God, to the highest. Thank in Jesus' name. You, we are Jesus' only people in no marriage. Right. Hallelujah. 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 I love to see the day. Uh, praise God when the name of Jesus, praise God, can be heard in every, praise God, hamlet, in every town, hallelujah, in every municipality. They can hear about that name, Jesus. That's the only way you're going to get peace in this life. you got to get to know the man, Jesus Christ. Praise God. We see the metaphorical distinction uh, between a man seeing naturally. Praise God, amen, and he's seeing with his natural eyes. Praise God, amen. You can find this in Ephesians, I think, 1 and 18, I think. That the eyes of your understanding being open. Praise God, that you can understand, praise God, what Jesus said. Amen. When you get used to, praise God, or reading God's word, praise God, you'll find out, praise God, amen, that your understanding about him, amen, begins to open up a little bit more than you remember, praise God, last time. Find yourself out, praise God, in a Pentecostal assembly. 
Those, praise God, that believe in that powerful name, Jesus Christ. Praise God, amen. And you will have a greater understanding who God is. I thank God for getting that out. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Uh, praise God. We hear everything being preached now. Except that name, Jesus. Amen. You know, when I sit and listen to a sermon, I'm listening to about three, uh, praise God, amen, fundamentals. And if I don't hear that, praise God, in Jesus' name, praise God, I have not, praise God, really heard the gospel. If I don't hear that name, Jesus, and what he did, praise God, on the cross. If I don't hear, praise God, baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Praise God, that's the basic fundamentals. And repentance, praise God, from dead works. Are you hearing me? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You're about to change. Hallelujah. Now, like I said earlier, Thank you, God. amen, you can't be right to you wrong first. You know, the Lord spoke to me, praise God, that it was very so simplistic. I thank God how he can just get a hold of a man every now and then. Yeah. Praise God, because see, you get wrong from time to time. Everybody want to be right. Nobody want to be wrong. But Jesus is the only man that's right. Praise God in his gospel. And whether you relax it or not, he's going to get the free evidence. Yes. That's right. That's true. You're going to get it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, he's going to get it. As she was I had, praise God, had an experience, a Pentecostal experience, praise God, on the 14th day of November, 1986. And when that man said, go down in Jesus, man, I didn't have no problem with the red song. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, I'm just baptized already, all this kind of stuff. Hallelujah. Amen. Men need some convincing. Maybe that's why this nation is going through the things that we're going through now. God is some kind of way he's going to drive, praise God, me and back to God. That's right. Yes. As much as they don't understand who he is, God has an understanding about who you are. That's right. That's right. He knows what's in you. Yes. He knows what you speak. You might as well tell him before you pray. Lord God, you know what I'm thinking. Yes. What I'm thinking about. Yes. All of these things, praise God, in Jesus' name. I've got a bit of this and I'm worried with this. And I'm troubled with this. You might as well tell God everything. Thank you, Jesus. And if you do that, pray God. You will feel much better. You will get a catharsis. You see what's crying up here? I feel clear enough. Thank you, Jesus. Man needs to get things out of his spirit. That's right. That's right. If you're going to get closer to God, praise God, you got to realize, praise God, that you've been walking. You know, Mr. Taylor said one time, praise God, amen. if you walk that the wrong way, turn around and go right. We'll keep going in the wrong direction. That's right. But you know, so many people are going in the wrong direction. Everybody just follow. He said, Why is the way? He did not say it. He said, Why? He said, Why is the way that leads to destruction? Praise God. But narrow is the way. You might as well say now. Narrow is the way. That leads to the of the eternal life. That's right. And you know, I love even hearing about the eternal life, but you know what? When you put your mind, praise God, on the things that's happening now. I don't know no bad and woman sitting here. Don't want to be successful. You want to be successful in whatever you that you that you're going at. But when you get closer to God, praise God, the thing is much sweeter. It is much sweeter. But I got the king on my side. And if I have to suffer to get it, I have no problem with it. Men don't want to suffer. Mm. Uh, I don't know why I'm going this way. Men don't want to suffer. They want to have it their way. See, flesh always call in and praise God, and you always uh, just give it over to the flesh. Praise the name of our God. Praise God. What happened? Praise God to the Pentecostal people in Jesus' name. Praise God. Like Bishop Taylor and all the rest of them. Praise God. And I'm pretty sure. Praise God in the Pentecostal organization. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Which fasted. Amen. Once a, once a week. Deny yourself, hallelujah. Amen. So you can get a little closer to God. That's right. And you do that primarily because you want to decrease. And you want God to increase in your life. That's right. That's right. And if you'll do that, praise God, He'll show you more righteousness. Yes, He will. And more righteousness, you will start thirsting out the righteousness. And God said, He that thirsts out the righteousness, He shall do what? Thank you, Lord. He ain't lying either. Glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He ain't lying. The more righteousness you get of God, the better you feel. 
Praise God. And you'll start going to praise him. Praise God. Any time that they get you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. We thank God for you today. In Jesus' name, don't want to worry your patience. Praise God. But Amen. It is reaching up the scriptures. Praise God. Amen. That ought to, amen, motivate us. That's right. It is, praise God, to try to find out more about who Jesus is. That's right. You know, Bishop Taylor told me one time before, he's the great prelate of this city. Praise God. And he said, you know, every time you go back to the scriptures, praise God, he said, you can find just a little bit more every time you go back to it. That's right. Every time you go back there, That's you can right. find just a little bit more, a little bit more. Yep. Right. Praise God. There's 66 books. Amen. And that's enough to keep you busy for your lifetime. That's exactly yeah. right. So enough to keep you busy. Yeah. Trying to get it in your mind. Praise God. I went down to Bishop Taylor's house one time and Jesus he is he said he's still trying to get some more. Praise God. But you know it's the, it's the human mind that is finite. God's mind is not finite, praise God. He has the world in his hands. If you were to look at your natural sight and look around, praise God, and see things moving. You'll know that there is a God somewhere. Ain't no way in the world, praise God, that you could put air out there, there you breathe it, and the birds flying around, praise God, and, the, and all the fishes in the sea, and they know what they're doing, praise God. There is a God that's orchestrating everything. Yeah, right, right. Thank God, praise God, that He predestinated the Pentecostal church. Amen. Oh, yes, He did. Amen. He predestinated the thing. Right. And we are to be found in Him. Holy and blameless before him in love. Amen. I thank God for that. Who in the world don't want to get away from something, amen, that's been having you bound, amen, for you? I look at people, praise God, in Jesus' name, on the street and this kind of thing. They're so numb, praise God, to who God is until if you say anything, they probably wouldn't hear it. But if you keep talking long enough, praise God, there's something in your voice, praise God, that they'll hear. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Amen. We ought to get some of these young preachers, praise God. And get out, praise God, from some of these cities. In Jesus' name, praise God. And do like Isaiah. Cry loud. That's right. And spell yeah. not. Hallelujah. Street ministry. Lift up your voice like a prophet in Zion. Mm-hmm. I heard Bishop Ronald say one time, sitting up in these churches, praise God. Amen. You you uh, you you complaining about preaching? Get out on the corner somewhere and tell God about who Jesus is. Say it again. And in love, praise God. I thank God for that. Praise God. This Sunday I won't worry your patience. And thank God this is a first for me, and perhaps maybe it'll be a first for a lot of others. And I'm I'm like Josh now. Josh is on his his uh, his road, and I'm pretty sure that he has a lot of counsel. And I and I always I just know. We shall we'll always remain the salt and pepper team. I don't care where we go. Amen. Got the name of Jesus in your heart. It ain't scared to who know it either. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. God started us out on this road. That's right. Thank God. Okay. Well, praise God. It's the first for me. I've had my first marriage. Praise God in marriage, uh, marriage ceremony. I did a eulogy. That's the first. And uh, this is the first uh, evangelistic type of mission that I have. I thank God for uh, the uh, the people that's here. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Know about the name of Jesus. It was easy for me. Amen. To tell you about somebody that I serve. Amen. Hallelujah. And what he can do for you. Praise God. Amen. If you want to be successful, you continue on in this way. Praise God. Amen. He'll take you to a place. Praise God. You have never, you never thought you could go. Amen. About that name. Amen. The spirit of truth. Jesus said, I had to go. He said, if I don't go, praise God. He said, the comforter won't come back. Mm-hmm. Praise God, which is the spirit of truth. To lead and guide my people. Praise God until I come back and snatch them out of the earth. God is good in Jesus' name. We have this great nation that we that we have. Praise God. Continue on being saints of the Most High God. Amen. Hold up the blood state banner. Amen. Don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God because it is the power of God unto salvation. That's right. Thank God this evening in Jesus' name for this little small church here. Praise God. I've got a chance to know uh, Mother and uh, got a chance to know uh, Ella uh, uh, Justice. Justice. 
and of course my uh, good friend and buddy back there and i've met uh, another uh praise god preacher in jesus name amen i can see the preach word all over him in the name of god he's doing all he knows to sit still back there but god know what he's doing young man praise oh, the name yeah. of god thank god for ella perry praise god one of our uh one of our uh elders and uh, he's like a bishop to me he's uh like a bishop to me in jesus name Praise God. And for uh, uh, Ella Bostic, right? Yes. Mr. Bostic, praise the name of God. Praise God. The call is all over in your life, son. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Continue, continue doing the works of Christ and praise God, you beautiful family. I'd love to see y'all together in Jesus' name. And this is this is, uh, this is uh, Pastor Perry. I call him Pastor Perry. And this is uh, uh, Pastor Senior Perry. Bless the name of God. Thank God for seeing you all today. In Jesus' name. Hopefully I've said something. Amen. There's nothing but praise God. Amen. You first wrong, then you right. Then God makes you right. That's right. Amen. amen. We came here as little babies and everything. Then they were looking at people trying to learn how to talk and all this kind of stuff. Praise God. But thank God, praise God, for a uh, spiritual environment uh, like we have here in the United States. Hallelujah. We thank God for that. I thank God for my upbringing. That's why I come you hear me stomping my feet like that. I can't have it. Praise God in Jesus' name. I'm in a Pentecostal, amen, environment now because that's who I am. Amen. When I was raised, praise God, amen, with somebody patting their feet and saying, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Patting their feet to the word of God. Amen. That's all right. <laughs> all right. Y'all excuse me, but I got to give it. Ain't nobody doing it for me. That's where I did it from. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, my soul. Oh, my God. 
evangelists so good. and some pastors and teachers so good. for the work of the ministry Hallelujah. for the edification of the body of Christ. Yes. Thank God for Pastor Josh. Hallelujah. Praise God in this city. Thank praise God. Thank God. Praise God for a time of prayer. Don't you change that name. Don't y'all change that name. Please. Do not change that name. Praise God. This is a time of prayer. In Jesus' name. And the reason why I said it, I'm just short story about it. There go. Praise God. There was a young minister here in the city. Praise God. He went, over, went to Germany. And the Lord delivered him in the name of the Lord. And he had a church. I knew it well because I was in it. Praise God. And he changed the name. Praise God. And praise God. had had done well since then. Do not change what God gave you. Don't change Amen. 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 You see, you, you can do something. Praise God. Amen. And God not pleased with it. That's right. Praise God. And you think you're right, praise God, until yes, amen, he show you you're wrong. That's, that's right. right. Praise, that's right. Lord, praise God. So thank God, amen, for the preaching of the scriptures. Praise thank God, you, amen. Lord. Thank God for the hard things, praise God, that I had to adjust to. Praise God, thinking I'm right, chest out. <laughs> you're right. Y'all know how to do it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this kind of stuff. Praise God. Thank God, praise God, for preachers had enough in their crown. In Jesus' name, say you're wrong. Try it. And come away again. I'm going to show you why you're wrong. Right. Thank God, praise God. Thank God for that in the name of the Lord. In God. Jesus' name, thank God for my brother. Praise God. In Jesus' name, preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. I'm enthused. At some point, I would love to hear, praise God, Josh. Praise God. And also, this young man back here would love to hear. The preach word coming from him. Praise God in Jesus' name. You keep on going, son. God got something for you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. This in Watch this. Uh, and I told you something. There's something for you. Yes. Praise God. You turn loose. I mean, really turn loose. 
I'm trying to you have that thing in your heart. You're all in the prison and everywhere you're at. Praise God, trying to tell people how you got free or something. Keep on doing that, praise God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. 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 Praise I was trying to, amen, uh, stir you up. Well, let me get you some music or something. <laughs> Praise God. But uh, that was beautiful. Yes. In Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Your singing career is going someplace. Do not give it up. Do not give it up. In Jesus' name. Bless you now. All right. God bless you now. Have you all enjoyed yourself? Amen. 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 Now, I'm going to say like Bishop Taylor used to tell me a long time ago. He said, you know, I feel like, I, I feel like I've been to church. <laughs> I feel like I've been to church. See, that's a sinner. That's a sinner. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, before it's all over with, hey, amen, we're going to fall in love with church so much, okay, you don't want to leave. That's right. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. I had a friend of mine, Elder Praise God. He thought something was wrong with me. Praise God. I'm so, oh, I'm so sorry the service is all the way over. My God. No, it's all over. Bless the Lord. We don't get like Bishop Bond and say, go take another text, son. <laughs> God bless you. Now. All right, let us stand. Bless you now. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Grab somebody's hand. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Do what you want to do. Let the church say amen. Take control. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Now it's a devil who is able to keep us from going and to present us before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God of the Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Then everybody raise your head back and say, Hallelujah! Dietary needs. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they could all be met. At Golden Corral. That would be great. Right. Okay. Is, is that acceptable? Time. Um, unless, uh, no. unless you want no, something to no, no, no. no, no, no. Good. Praise yeah. God. Lead the way. So you can you go ahead. So can you go? Hallelujah. Bless you, Brother Randy. Thank you.